on the platform. They don't want to be there. It's Ganondorf. His up smash hits everywhere. Yeah, I can yeah. see that being a terrible situation. Everywhere. All the, yeah. all the way around. His forward smash is basically an up smash, if you look at it. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. No, and, um, okay, now we're going. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Yeah. Malgus has a wolf. Yeah. He's got a wolfie. And speaking of the heavy hitters, of course, uh, you know, we have Armando on the other side. I guess going by AC now. Everyone's changing their... Yeah, he's been going... He flips back and forth. Everyone's it's, it's changing their tags, man. And he's also going Meta Knight instead of Snake, so, you know... And he's been bouncing back and forth between the two characters, of course. Um, I think, generally speaking, if you ask people, people will say that Snake is really good in this game, and Meta Knight, uh, not so much. I, I just think that there's not really... It's not really fair to compare. They're just completely different characters. It's just like when I look at uh, Meta Knight, I see a solid character with solid edge right. guarding. Like, this is going to be somewhat of a problem for Wolf. Th that back air? That's going to come into play so regularly. I mean, if you know, considering he knows what he's doing, but I'm going to assume that he does know what he's doing. Yeah, you got the lead trap scenario here. There, AC really tends to thrive as a player. One of his specialties always picks up huge amounts of damage. He keeps the pressure on, and it just patient. seems like Malgus has been in trouble the entire uh, entire match. Look how patient he's being. Yeah. Like seriously, like he he. There's times when he's like, "Oh, I'm going to go edge guard." Actually, no. Like, he knows when to pick his battles and, like, just kind of hold back because he knows he has advantage the whole time. And sniped him with a shuttle loop, and it's looking like Brawl all of a sudden. Can Meta Knight be stopped? Uh, I mean, in this particular match, it's, he's not being stopped. Right. <laughs> it's not. It's only getting worse. And the irony is on that is that Wolf and Brawl actually had a pretty decent Meta Knight matchup by and large. It's uh, kind of funny how that worked out, but, you know. Huh. Smash 4, uh, there was no Wolf, so. <laughs> I was expecting a Wolf, and we never got one. Okay. Oh, missing that jab. I mean, the anti-air jab only works with certain characters. I wouldn't say Meta Knight. He's a little too stumpy. Yeah, AC, very workmanlike, just putting in a lot of putting Malgus in a world of hurt. It's it's just like I, I think the the reason that he's going for the the edge, the lead trap that he's going for right now is because Wolf has to. He doesn't cling to the lead. He doesn't <laughs> snap. So like some down tilts. I'm actually not seeing as much pressure at the ledge as I would expect. But hey, yeah, he just no, got the back air right there, and yeah. it's. Everything going Armando's way, looking like he's cruising towards a uh, game one victory. Oh. Unless Magus makes some sort of changes. Yeah. But it's hard when you're trapped on the ledge and can't go anywhere. Yeah, he's been trapped on that ledge like 80% of this this game, dude. Yeah, if you need like, if they made like a Smash Wiki entry right now into what is ledge trapping, this would just yeah, link to this video right now, game one. You got textbook coming out from Armando. Just like a gift for every <laughs> right. single stock. Yeah, every no, single moment. You know, I gotta say though, man, uh, Wolf is a lot better than Ganondorf for this fight, dude. <laughs> I would not do that. Although, mm -hmm. if you're trying to make an upset, this is my theory on it. You like, you know, in the same way, a lot of basketball teams they try to slow down the game, you know, so there's less yeah, of yeah. a sample size of shots that go up because mm. you're not as good of a team. Yeah. If you play Ganondorf. The exchanges, there's less of them, and you hit so much harder. You always have a puncher's chance. I suppose so. Yeah, yeah. it's it's almost like oh, I'm a hundred, I'm a hundred percent behind. Oh, so it's basically even. Right. Well, it's just that you know you get three hits and all of a sudden Meta Knight's dead. Kind yeah. of a deal. Big time. And that nair though, ooh, yeah, that nair is actually not too bad of a combo breaker. At least at least low percents for uh, for Ganondorf. He's, he's got to it, – it's just – Malgus like, has no idea how to get back from the ledge, unfortunately. That's yes. what I was going to say. It's like no matter what character you play, like if you just fundamentally find yourself at this area all the time, there's got to, you know, be some sort of adjustment. Right. And that's, been, that's the funny part. Actually, AC is going a little bit off stage now, playing some edge guarding mm. instead of ledge dropping. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty easy food, you know what I mean? You know, Ganondorf is definitely, he has a hard time at disadvantage just in general. So when you're off stage, which is about as disadvantaged as you can get, whew. and it also plays in the Meta Knight's strengths too. So it's just all types of bad. Yeah, multi-jumps, a lot of hitboxes that can be thrown out. But, you know, from a Ganondorf standpoint, you always got to be wary of the command ground, side special and up special. Oh, yeah. yeah that's, that's the hard part. That's like the risk reward. Oh, my God. Speaking of uh, being worried about stuff, remember when I told you three hits and they're dead, puncher's chance? Yeah. What was looking like a commanding victor, commanding lead for AC is now a virtually even game as long as uh, Malgus can touch the ground after this uh, juggle situation. Uh, a little more patience, and that would have warranted another stock, I think, for AC. Yeah, right now, uh, oh, Armando's got his hands full. Triple. Got a triple kick. Oh. What is happening? <laughs> if he got that forward smash, dude. Yeah, if he got that forward smash, then we would have had to end the stream. The highlight it was been made for the night. Oh. Tournament's over. That was a weird up special in that scenario. I agree. I don't I agree with that decision, but, you know, it's all good. Yeah. He died for it, and that's, sometimes you got to shake it off. Yep. Oh, God. 
Oh, he almost got that punch of chance you were talking about. Yeah, he's going for that whiff punish on the move that hadn't come out yet with the forward smash. Oh, man. Uh, speaking of some whiffs, that's okay. AC had a couple whiffs, but now he's... Oh, he's getting in with the day negative 12 combo. I thought, where's Mock Tornado? Oh, my God. Yeah, seriously, Mock Tornado might have killed him. Right. Oh, uh, yeah, we, we dash attack those. Oh. Wow. Wow. Uh, Malchus was about to come down with something really heavy, and AC just stopped that preemptively. I love that. He's <sighs> edgeguarding again. There's Mock Tornado this time. Decides <laughs> to throw it out when he's way under the stage. I don't know. Yeah, Armando knows something about the character I don't know. He drags him down with Drill Rush. There we go. Secures the victory. There Very good go. play overall. Yeah. But, you know, I, I think definitely the highlight of that set, if you're at home trying to improve as a player, go back and watch game one. Take notes because Armando put on a freaking clinic on the ledge right there. Yeah, he did. He did. And it, it, just a 